instructional video on how to change your fuel filter. Ready? Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Okay. First of all, before you start, these are the tools you're going to need. This is the removal tool, nitrate gloves, your replacement fuel filter, and diesel fuel, and a cup. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, put our gloves on so we don't get all dirty, nasty. And a garbage bag. And a garbage bag. Okay, put your gloves on. Take your tool. The little piece right here goes onto the ring and you just turn it until it's loose. Spin the cap off. Put the cap off to the side so you don't lose it. Put your tool down, grab your cup. Start draining the fuel out of the filter. And what I do, as long as there's no gunk in the fuel, I dump. See, the fuel. See? no dirt, no nothing. It's clean. Okay. I can dump it into. I just recycle it right into what I'm going to put back in the filter. So I just pour it right back into the jug. Nice and clean. Oh, except the well, gunk on the bottom. But it'll come out. This is the Lucas. If you buy a gallon of this, put half in the tank and then use the other half to put diesel fuel in and it works perfect. All right, so we're gonna drain a little bit more out. It's gotta get down below the ring. So there's one cup. Should be pretty close. I can't see the fuel, so that means we're good. So I'll dump this in. Actually, I'll leave that right in the cup because we're gonna use that again. Now, take your tool, put it on the collar and it'll, this will lock right onto the things. Pull it towards you. And it'll loosen clockwise. Yep. It'll loosen up. Don't drop this. It's no. plastic. Now, put this down. What I have to do is I have to put it on a piece of paper towel. Because I like to keep this away from the dirt. So you put that so it's out of the way. Then take the filter out. And this is where the bag comes in. Just dump the filter right into the bag. The most important thing is this right here. This piece is part of the bottom of the filter. It goes in here. Sometimes it doesn't come out when you pull the filter out and it's left on the post. So you wanna make sure that all you see is the silver post right here. You don't want that rubber plug left on it. Because there'll be a new one with the new filter. Yes. So you notice there's fuel still in here, and that's fine. And you remember you were talking about cleaning? That is still that is nice and clean inside there, so that's never an issue. So the next thing we do, get a piece of paper towel. And we're going to open up the filter, the new filter. And usually they give you two Well, we'll put the filter in first. Remember I said the rubber piece? Make sure that that is stuck inside here. Be just kind of snug, won't go anywhere. And then just stick that right up, stick it right back in, push it down as far as it'll go, and that's fine. Now, it, there's a bag that is inside with the filter. What you need to do is knock that ring down and look at the size of the the uh, gasket and you match it up inside the bag. There'll be a thick one and a thin one. Mine just happened to be thick and I'm assuming yours are probably the same. Does it matter which way it goes on? Or is no, it does not matter which way it goes on. So you throw the old one away 
And what I like to do, it's, so I, t I throw the little one, this one I'm not gonna use, this one's no good. So I take the big one and there'll be a little teeny one that goes onto the cap. So I put the one for the cap onto the side. I like to use Vaseline for this. You do not have to do that if you want. If you don't carry the Vaseline, stick your finger on the fuel and just rub it on this so this gets wet. I like Vaseline because it just, it it's what my mechanics use. So it that's- It doesn't destroy the gasket? No, okay. it doesn't, nope. Doesn't what you, you wanna do is when you put this on, you wanna make sure that this is not dry. It's wet, it's got lubrication on it so it doesn't get hung up when you put it back on again. So you either rub it in diesel fuel or get a little thing of Vaseline and just rub it along. And the same thing with that little teeny plastic ring, do the same thing. The little plastic ring, here's the, here's the cap that we took off, off the top. Of course, it, I don't use this one, but you wanna get, peel that off. And then just pull it off, throw the old one away, and then just put the new one on. And then just put this to the side. You got your ring. Take this. And you can wipe the inside of this. You don't have to. I do. Wipe the inside. And wipe the ring here. Just kind of wipe. Make sure there's no goop or anything on it. And then stick. If this, if this ring pops off. The spring, it comes right out. All you have to do is just stick it back. Just turn it till it's stuck back on again. It'll go right back on. No big deal. And then just put the rubber gasket back on the bottom like such. Done. So then what you do, take this. Just let it sit there for a minute. Grab the ring, the black ring. Just wipe the inside. Just want to kind of make sure there's no dirt or anything else on it. Then take the ring, hold this down so that the gas, so it's flat. The gas gets up against the, the, uh, the base. Put the ring on and just slide it around so you can't slide it anymore. And the whole thing will slide once you get it going. You just want to make sure that the threads are caught good. Take your tool. And just make it snug. It doesn't have to be wicked tight, just snug. Now, take your fuel that you got in the cup. And what I like to do is I like to fill it up halfway. Up where the holes stop. And then just kind of let it sit because it's going to settle in. And I fill up to the hole, the holes on the filter. I know my hand's probably in the way. No, it's all right, I got it. Then you take your cap. Well, before you do that. Make sure your cloth is clean. Just kind of wipe the top off. Make sure there's no dirt or goop or anything. Stick the cap back in. Make sure that you put that little gasket. Make sure that that small gasket, there always has to be a gasket on that. Put that on. Take your tool, the small part. Twist it until it's nice and snug. And that's it. This is the cap that I'd like you to get. The part number is 240007. Hold it up so I can see the other side. Okay. 
You do not need the tool to take this off. You just spin it until it clicks and it's done. When you want to take it off, it comes right off by hand. You don't need the tool. And you don't have to worry about these splines, which always seem to break with the tool. So if you get that in any uh, garage, Freightliner, Western Star, whatever, they should be able to get that for you. But you just, still need the wrench for the bottom part, though. Still need the wrench for the bottom part, but this makes it very easy. When you're at the gas station, I said you want to drain the fuel out, this comes right off. And that makes it easy. So you just, you don't even have to take it, you just loosen it up. You know, take a cup, or I just let it drain on the fuel line because there's oil and all kinds of crap. You know, just give it a quick deal, get any gunk on the bottom, and you're done. Tighten the cap back up because if the cap isn't tight, what's going to happen is the fuel is going to run out of the out of the filter, and it's going to run the truck out of fuel, and you will have a hell of a time trying to get. So you always want to make sure this is tight, and this is tight, and the fuel isn't going anywhere. And that's basically it. Good. Okay, now that everything's all buttoned up, you make sure that this is tight, this is tight, this is up all the way. Go in the truck, turn the key, and start the truck. coming out of here, you know that you have no leak.